hardest part for this has been to make sure I have food because when Hurricane Matthew hit, I had my shelves were stocked thanks to Food Lion. So it came through the middle of the week and my shelves were empty. About four miles down our road, Hood Drive got six foot of water and my aunt and uncle lost their house. And my grandparents, they lost their house down my grandparents' path. So it was emotional for our family, but it was like, okay, we're gonna get through this somehow. We don't know how, but we will. Kenzie has seen a lot during this hurricane, like a lot of other people. But she's had to take an adult role in an adult world being a kid. Um, she has got very frustrated at times because she didn't think she could meet the need. It felt kind of like, okay, I've gotten this far. I'm not going to get put down because I don't have any food. Something's going to come through. I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to come through. So about three days after the storm, we got hit really hard with people coming to get food because this, the bridge had opened and people could actually get to us then. So it was. Kenzie has an arsenal of volunteers and contacts that she's made through different organizations. Um, Duke Energy, Progress Energy, they've been stationed at the Wayne County Fairgrounds here and Kenzie went in Monday and I offered her help to feed them and the lady came out, her name was Trish, and said, baby, we got this. We brought our own kitchen, we brought our own cooks, but thank you for offering. She said, can we have your number though? And we got a call Saturday and she said, I need you if you can to bring two trucks. We have some water and a little bit of food is what she said. And I said, well, we have the National Guard truck with us and we have my van, and, but my van's kind of loaded. She said, well, you might need to bring another one. So Kenzie called her friends at Marmac Fire Department and they got us another truck and got it in there. A little bit of food was not what it was. It was a U-Haul full of food and fresh fruit and chips and granola bars and snacks and nine pallets of water. It wasn't just about that food. It was just so many more people that Kenzie could extend her resources to and the weight it took off a 12 year old's shoulders because she didn't have any more resources. Um, they would probably stand behind tables and give them a choice either of produce, dairy, or um, fruit. I've had over 200 volunteers this past, these past, this past week and a half. And a lot of my dance friends, they came and they were about my age and younger. And Miss Stacy and her family, they came and volunteered. We met them through this hurricane. She's made whatever she can work. And she has incredible amount of faith that I've never seen. I was telling my best friend who came in to help me um, the other day, and we were delivering the plates and seeing the seniors light up when they seen her knock on the door. And I turned to my best friend, I said, what were we doing at 12? How do we not have this in us? We didn't even think about the things that this little child is thinking about. It's just incredible. It makes me feel really good because I get to help people in need in my county. I've served Wayne, Johnston, and Sampson through this hurricane. Has this been overwhelming for you? It has been very overwhelming. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Are you making it through? Yes, ma'am. What have you learned throughout this whole experience? That you don't take life for granted. Every moment you have is precious. No!